Hey, I'm Ray Lim. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the Duit Basso 2 called Spring. So I have a little bar chart here. Let's play it to see how it goes. That's pretty boring by itself. So let's select everything. Duplicate it with Ctrl D. Bring it up. I'll select everything. Change the color to maybe purple and drag it across. Let's go here and go to the colors for the bar and change it to maybe this color. Alright, so if you play it back, they're the same thing. Now let's go ahead and uh, bring up the, the keyframes. Select the keyframes and press spring. And already it looks so much better. But first I need to show you how to set it up before you can proceed. So let's create a quick circle and bring up the position keyframe, P. Now let's go to maybe like 6 frames and bring it down so there will be a quarter second. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Let's add the Duke Spring effect, select both keyframes, spring it, and let's go to interpolation, oh, follow through, and maybe go for 10 and damping 5. Let's see how that goes. Oh, we have to uh, select it to bounce first. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, the Duke uh, effect control panels has anticipation, interpolation, and follow through. It also has spatial options and precision but these two aren't really important and I'm not going to be covering them in this video. Now let's go over the anticipation function of this tool. Let me just play this pre-comp. As you can see the one on the left has no anticipation and the one on the right does. Uh, notice that before it drops down right here, it jumps up a little bit before it drops down. Now let's see if we can play with the settings for this. Let's go to the ball tool. Anticipation, the duration is currently set to 0.2. Let's go to 1 second. And what it does is it eats time behind it, so 1 second will start from 0 and go up to 1, which is where my position keyframe is, then we drop down. So let's play it. Okay, so it's much more of a wind up. And amplitude, as you can probably, probably guess what it does, let's try 20% so it doesn't go off screen. And it's less but longer. Okay, now for interpolation, let me just play the animation I've created. Oh, right now they both have the same easing which is up here, interpolation, they both have 50-50. But let me try if I select this one on the right and slow in let's say 100% and slow out 0, let's see how it looks. Looks kind of funky already. How about we try the opposite which is 0% and 100% slow out. It's still looking kind of strange, how about 100% on both? And the easing it's created is kind of like uh, in maybe let's say create this. It's like in uh, motion tree if I bring the bring the scale up of the so not the scale the easing in and out slider so it makes a really sharp point. Oops, I don't want to create that easing. So that's why it does if I uh, set it both to 100%. I played around with the figures a little bit and I found that 50/50 seems to have the best result. So that's the one you're seeing on the left here. All right, let's move on. Okay, so let me just play the animation I have. So I have three right here, one is baseline, high elasticity and high damping. You can see that there's elasticity, damping and bounce. Bounce we really kind of covered it a little bit. If we off bounce, it will, it will go below it and come back up. So as you can see, elasticity basically controls how bouncy it is. So in the middle one, I set it to high elasticity, so it's really bouncy. And the other one is damping. High damping means a higher gravity or momentum reducer. So you can see on this, I think one bounce is it? Yeah, on the second bounce it stays down because the gravity is too high. So another cool effect I found with the Duik Spring 2 is this little kinetic uh, animation. It's kind of like the kinetic installation art at the, uh, the Singapore airport, the Changi airport. So let me just solo the first ball so you can see what's going on. So what I did is basically have one ball go from one position keyframe to the second one. Uh, let me out stopwatch the position to get rid of the expression and let me play it back once. There it is, just one uh, top to bottom. Let me just undo that to bring the expression back and play it once. And that's how it does, it just vibrates back and forth. However, let me just uh, unsolo it to bring it back. So I duplicated it a bunch of times and I offset everybody by three frames so I can get this nice uh, smooth animation. Let me show you what happens if I select everybody and shorten it, maybe less than a second. You can see everybody gets more aggressive. So you can play around with it. You can get some definitely you can get some interesting results. 
So that's about it. If you found value from this video, you can help me out by clicking the like button. And I make videos like this every week, so if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe. And I hope to see you next week.